uh, physical formats for the storage and delivery of music have always defined uh, the, the form that the music takes. The smell of a plate is crazy, isn't it? It's mad when people go, yeah, like, it's a dub plate, look, smell it. And you're like, what, it smells of something? You're like, oh yeah, fuck me, it does smell the same. People are like, it's crazy. Antiquated technology against modern technology. Like, in terms of anything I do, really, I'm always looking for that balance between then and now. Los discos de pizarra o de Selac suenan bastante mejor que los vinilos de la época. Los vinilos suenan mejor que los CDs. Los CDs suenan mejor que los MP3. Yo no sé si no hubiera existido la casete, qué tipo de salida o qué formato hubiera utilizado el underground electrónico de los 80. A lo mejor no hubiera existido. Everything's going to be all in one thing, like an iPad or a phone or even smaller, and it seems like everything is like kind of uh, disappearing. I think it came from the science fiction author William Gibson where he says the future is already here, it's just unevenly distributed. Especially in DJ culture, um, the format changes how we think of and feel the music. They just connect straight away to the vibe. Because they can see it's like hands-on. They're like the wow factor to it. When you put a CD in, it's not so much like wow, but now it's like you've only got to put a dub plate out and they're like, oh fuck, he's got a dub plate. If anyone uh, could have earned the title of father of dubstep, it's Hatcher. The producer gives you his track. However, well, on whatever format, you go to a cutting house, i.e. transition, and give them the CD or whatever, and they've got like a big lathe machine. They put a blank plate, put the needle down, that's it. He has a huge collection of uh, classic tracks that he's created his own versions of. The people wasn't even pressing dubstep at the time. It wasn't even a culture or a genre, you know, so it was only maybe me and the guy that made it that had the plate. They become uh, absolute vital p parts of the history of the scene, which is strange in itself because they don't last forever. A dub plate can only be played 30 times, maybe, before its sound quality decays. I try and make sure that the intro of the track is kind of good enough to mix, so I've got long enough to mix in and out of one track. So like now I'd go to the second drop of the track, make sure the next 32 bars or whatever are clean so that I can mix it. to real tapes were quite often used in the first clubs. The significance of the real to real tape is that those early disco DJs would create their own edits. Greg Wilson was the great British pioneer of the art of the edit. That's like splicing tape to kind of connect the tape together and the blade to cut it and then get rid of the tape that was no good or whatever and then just put it back together. Editing tape, you fix it in there and you're back on again. So, there's all sorts of different bits and bobs, so I might kind of just spin it into the track. I don't know why I would do that. There's so much more stuff to carry around and more expensive, and like it didn't really make sense to me. So, like, I have like this small thing to use and take everywhere. Clams Casino is a fascinating hybrid artist, uh, maybe a representation of what digital technology has enabled in artists today. Just like turntable simulator, like. It's like two little turntables and like a crossfader and filters and stuff and like kind of effects to mess around with. I'll play like mostly MP3s, but some stuff maybe like waves or, or some some stuff like rip right from YouTube like MP3s. So some is like real low quality, but I mean I think it's more about what it actually is than the quality. Technology's advance is never straightforward. It's never a simple uh, development into something better or more complex. Son 10 pulgadas, van a 78 revoluciones por minuto y normalmente solo tienen una canción en cada cara. Lo que pasa es que tienen otra respuesta dinámica. No tienen ni tantos graves ni tantos agudos. Es más natural, ¿no? El sonido que dan. Yo creo que este es el formato perfecto. Es so much warmer the sound of a plate, do you know what I mean, with the crackles, the pops, and it's just when it's cut on a lathe, it's different from the digital sound. And actually people are finding that they want to bring back the mistakes. Some people say, is it easier now to edit with, um, you know, what, what technology gives you? And 
I, I don't think it's any easy. I just think it gives you so many more options. As with a laptop, it's kind of a laptop. Everyone's got a laptop. But, you know, you turn up with your bag of plates or whatever, they like, yeah, you're the only one that stands out because you're still, like, representing. It doesn't matter to me that my music doesn't exist in tangible form. I mean, I think as long as people can hear it the same and enjoy it, then it doesn't really matter to me.